This video talks about the different types of headaches. Now there are three different types of headaches. There is the migraine headache, the tension headache, and the cluster headache. It's very important to be able to differentiate between the different types of headaches because they can be easily confused with one another. Now let's talk about migraine headache. The symptoms of migraine headache are photophobia, aura, numbness, nausea, tingling, and throbbing. Now let's look at tension headache. See how it's very different from migraine headache. Take a look and compare. In tension headache, there is going to be band-like pain in the posterior neck. It's going to get worse as the day progresses, and there is going to be sleep disturbances. Now let's take a look at our cluster headache. See how that is even more different than migraine and tension. There is going to be unilateral orbital pain, there is going to be rhinorrhea, facial flushing, and they are going to be suicidal. Now those are the different types of headache. Let's talk, let's talk about drugs now. One of the most commonly prescribed drugs that's out there for headaches is sumatriptan. The brand name for sumatriptan is Imitrex. Mechanism of action of sumatriptan is vasoconstriction. It vasoconstricts by agonizing 5-HT1D. It's a 5-HT1D agonist. And yet, that's important to know that it's 5-HT1D. Clinical use of sumatriptan are cluster headache, tension headaches, different types of headaches. Now, in which kind of patients can we not use this drug? Since this is a vasoconstrictor, we cannot use this drug in patients who has problems if there is vasoconstriction. And who are they? Those are the patients with coronary artery disease. Those have any kind of angina. If we give this drug to those patients, it's going to make their, their symptoms even worse. That's sumatriptan. Now there you have it, the different types of headaches.